Ahead of jury selection on Monday, Judge Megan Shanahan had to decide if certain information would be admissible in Ray Tenzing's trial. Tenzing is the former UC police officer charged with murder. He shot and killed Sam DeBose during a traffic stop last year, an incident captured by Tenzing's body camera. In court today, Tenzing's attorney said he wants all cards on the table. Since this case began, I've heard the word over and over again, transparency. Believe it or not, Ray Tenzing and I want transparency also in this case. Um, but apparently we all have a different definition of what transparency is. Stu Matthews wanted Shanahan to let him introduce DuBose's marijuana use, his medical records and criminal background as evidence. Matthews claims the information might explain why he says DuBose wanted to flee the traffic stop that ended with his death. It's uh, prejudicial and is irrelevant to the matters at hand. For the most part, Judge Shanahan agreed. And it would be inappropriate to allow that evidence. Matthews did score one victory when Shanahan ruled he can discuss how much marijuana investigators found on DuBose's body and in the car he was driving. I just uh, think that's relevant evidence is to explain why Sam DuBose did what he did in this situation. Prosecutor Joe Dieters is pleased with the way Shanahan ruled and said nothing, not DeBose's background or his medical files, justify what happened. It doesn't explain it. I mean, it's a purposeful killing of another human being. That's what happened here. They're trying to impugn Sam DeBose um, with his background, and it's not relevant. It's just simply not relevant. Now, after the hearing today, Prosecutor Joe Dieters also said that the, his side has more evidence than just the body camera footage. He wouldn't say what it is, only that we'll all see it uh, when it's presented during a trial and that it will be the kind of evidence that's deciding for the jury. Reporting live downtown, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. All right, Todd, thank you. WLWT will have team coverage throughout the trial, and we're going to be streaming the trial live for you on WLWT.com and our WLWT app.